out if it's Charles J. Yeah, just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, shout out to my audience. Shout out to those that's rocking with me. Yeah, we back in the kitchen. There's a whole lot of goddamn sauce in this pot, man. Let's get to the shit. I put my heart in this boxing. Hey, they be like, Charles, listen, man. Oh, um, Teofimo Lopez versus Ryan Garcia is a circus show. Uh, it's a monkey show. Uh, it's some other shit. Um, that motherfucker said whichever uh, monkey want the banana for I think you motherfuckers monkeys but anyway um, on to let, I got some shit to get out I got a lot of shit to say <laughs> yeah I got a comment yesterday talking about but that long not the two minute in intro yeah cause I did the uh, I put my heart in this box like damn you motherfuckers game banging on intros and shit what I ain't come on come on fast enough for you motherfucker, bro. Black people, y'all too hard to please, bro. That's why I don't want to please you motherfuckers. I really don't like you motherfuckers. I'm just telling you. So you motherfuckers, bro. You just can't please black folks. You just can't do it. It's just too hard. Uh, I stopped a long time ago trying to uh, please black folks. You motherfuckers too hard to impress. So you know, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, on to some other shit. Um. Uh. Cause I don't want, I, you know, I just don't, I don't even want to do no presidential video. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of my thoughts in here. Uh, Trump is the president and I really don't give a fuck. I'm telling you something, the whole hood finna celebrate. Uh, gangsters fuck with uh, Trump. Way back since the Pac days and all that there, uh, all your gangster rappers uh, used to post pics with uh, Trump. The black community loves Trump. Um... Kamala, that little slick shit. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. It's hard to con black people when your when your skin ain't white. Uh, yeah, she light skin, but she 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 light bright, damn near white, but she ain't white. If she was a white, if Kamala Harris was a white woman, oh yeah, we vote for her, cause we would have voted for Hillary. But what I'm saying is this. Um, no, uh, black men have a deep disdain for black women and. She just all them collard greens and greens, beans, tomatoes, yams, you name it. And I <laughs> Yeah, all them greens, beans. Talk about she used to she used to uh she used to uh put her collard greens in a bathtub and all that there and wash them in the bathtub. Listen, bro, uh there's nothing black about Kamala Her. It's not just that she has a white husband. It's not that. It's not just that she's locked up so many black men and made a career out of that shit. It's not that. You're just not black, bro. Uh, when they asked her, uh, are you black or this and that? She said, no comment. She does not claim black. This is the first time she's ever tried to even act like she fuck with us because she wanted to be the president. So a part of me is, because I don't think no woman should be a president. So I am kind of, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm damn near almost kind of a little bit glad, but I really don't give a fuck. Because we fuck, it, it don't matter who was the president, uh, we fuck, but I'm telling you though, life definitely, it would've got worse for, for, not just black people, it's specifically black men. You think we 60 or 70% of the prison pipeline now, we was gonna be 99% of that shit, fucking with Kamala. Life was gonna get hard on a black man. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I've been trying to hint at this shit, it's a lot of black men that's passing with this gay shit. A lot of you motherfuckers turning like the walking dead, and I get that. But it's a lot of black men that's faking like they gay just to get a better job. Um, gay black men don't go to jail as much. I'm, I'm, they're more successful. Uh, they're more financially stable. Uh, a gay black man can keep a job longer. <laughs> White folks treat gay black men better, and 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 they and most of the time, gay black men end up with a white boy. That that's ninety percent of the time. But anyway, I'm not gonna get into all the LGBT ish ways that we have. What I'm saying is uh, Kamala would have fucked shit up for black men. She would have strategically targeted black men. That is a fact. I'm telling you, you think, you think it ain't no jobs now. 
Bro, she was finna turn this multicultural shit into some shit. Because, I'm gonna tell you something. Obama started that people of color shit. Um, Obama convinced black people that Asians, Latinos, and blacks, and Afri and we all got the same struggle, and we all fighting together, when, no, bro, nobody fucks with the black American. And they convinced us to fight for people of color to push out our agenda, to push out our freedom of fighting, and all that, third, and turn all this shit into some people of color shit, which that shit does not exist in this country. I ain't never seen an Asian uh, hire a black man at a convenience store. I seen a dolphin uh sweeping and, and you know little dolphin they give them three dollars and, and and three or four six single cigarettes yeah for sweeping and my <laughs> yeah every now and then you see the neighborhood dolphin in the uh, Asian store yeah sweeping and shit nah 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 they don't fuck with us bro they don't hire us they don't fuck with us but what I'm saying is um oh Kamala you th cause uh I think what the Indian re reservations within Oklahoma and white boy gave him a couple of casinos yeah they he, she was gonna build some more reservations for the Indian people she wasn't gonna do shit for black folks and she said it um but meanwhile all our black celebrities try to convince us vote for Kamala I, I, a part of me is glad because this is the first time we went against our black celebrities because I'm tired of our black celebrities being our leaders I'm tired of them motherfuckers being the ones that we listen to and they are leaders and we just, whenever the, whenever our rappers tell us what to do and our actors, because those are our Congress and our government in the black community. Our favorite rapper is like our mayor. Uh, we think them motherfuckers political shit. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Kamala would have fucked over black men. It would have got bad for us, but I'm going to tell you something else. Um, you, you motherfuckers think shit finna get better with Trump. I'm not saying it's going to get as bad as Kamala, but don't get happy, black folks. Don't get too fucking happy. I seen Thomas the Hitman Hearns up there with Trump and rallying for him. Bro, we do weird shit. We go out our way for this Trump. We really think Trump is for black people. You know how many black people he done said, what's that black woman he told is just dumb? That motherfucker say the most racist shit and get off on that shit because he throw us a few bananas. He like the old slave master. And true enough. I think the old slave master was much nicer than this new white boy. The old slave master was a much better slave master than a Joe Biden. That motherfucker there is the new... <laughs> yeah, he, he with this new law. He with this J. Edgar Hoover shit. He with that shit. But the old white boy just wanted us to work hard, and he'll throw us a biscuit every... The old white boy really wasn't as bad as... Uh, cause we, too, we wasn't as sick as we is now. We wasn't as fucked off. We wasn't as divided as we is now. If we don't kill, we wasn't killing each other back then with the old slave master. Now, nah, cause we needed that work done. He just wanted us to work hard. Yeah, the old white boy master, uh, he did sick shit, but he he was better than the new white boy to me. These motherfuckers sick. They done turned us gay. We we cutting off our dicks. No, the new white boy is way worse than that old white. Old white boy. <laughs> old white boy just wanted us to work hard. He just wanted us to work hard, and he rewarded us with a biscuit every now and then. There is no reward with this new white boy. It don't matter how good you act. Uh, there is no reward. Ask P. Diddy. P. Diddy. P. Diddy single-handedly, bro, destroyed hip-hop with the help of the Jews. Suge Knight, J. Prince, Irv Gotti, uh, Dame Dash, all these dudes just disappeared, and it was just P. Diddy. P. Diddy worked with the white boy, and look what they doing to him now. Look what they doing to P. Diddy now. <laughs> Meanwhile, you motherfuckers ain't heard about what Vince McMahon done? No talk. Black people have no smoke for that. That shit with Weinstein and these islands and shit. They have, uh, Cat Williams say the boy tried to give him head for a movie. We don't have no smoke. Cat Williams, the whole entire interview, we don't even talk about that shit he said about Weinstein. We talk about what he said about Steve Harvey and them and uh, Cedric the Entertainer. We missed all that shit. Meanwhile, Vince McMahon, I don't think you know the shit. The shit Vince McMahon has been accused of is far worse than what they saying Diddy did. Bro, Trump had 40 felonies. Okay, bro. Trump is the first gangster president. I, I, I must say that about him. That motherfucker is the first gangster president because uh, he was fighting 40 felonies, beat the shit, and became the president again. That is some gangster shit. I give him that. But he's also a white boy. Black men are never, bro, you'll never get that shit. Even, even they favorite black boy will never get that kind of, uh, nah, bro. 
But I'm, there's nobody that loves Trump more than black folks. White folks really don't like him. Only the real po broke racist whites uh, love Trump because they know he's a racist. And they, they just believe in that dirty, uh, slimy, heels have eyes ass thoughts. And that's sick shit. But um, black people love Trump. We'll go to war for Trump. We will go to war if Putin get the fucking with Trump. We'll, 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 black people will start flying for the first time to run. <laughs> But let me get off that. I don't give a fuck about the election. Fuck the election. Fuck Trump and fuck Kamala. I'm telling you, bro. We the first time he was the president, that was if we were gonna ever use him, we should have used him then. Not just for a fucking Jack Johnson ignite because he acknowledged Jack Johnson and Wilder and Lennox Lewis was up there and they was hugging on Trump and all that old soft ass shit. No, nah, bro. Uh, we needed way more than the acknowledgement of Jack Johnson after over a hundred goddamn years. We need, we need businesses. We need all kind of business loan. It is too hard for a black man to get a loan. It's all kind of shit instead of a fucking tribute to Jack Johnson. No, it's way more shit uh, Trump could have done, and we could have pimped on him. It was more than just meeting with all them monkey, uh, baboon ass preachers. You remember Trump met with forty black preachers? Remember that shit? But the black church ain't political, huh? The black church don't believe in fighting for shit, but they roll with Trump. We monkeys, bro. I, I, black people, it's just too much of a disgust. It, it's, it's disgraceful. Everything about us is just sick, bro. I I, I swear to God, I, I can't stand you motherfuckers. I can't stand, but I'm finna get out of my black rant because I get sick. Of, I can't stand black people because I don't think we have good intentions for each other. I, I, it's hard for me to find a black man that has good intentions towards his people. I don't know many, bro. I don't know any. If any, motherfuckers just shysty. But you motherfuckers can keep it real with Trump. Stupid mother. Anyway, back to Biden, bro. I'm through with that shit. Fuck this president. I don't give a fuck up. And I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you what I know. Trump ain't going to be nothing like he was. The first time he did a little shit, he was kind of cool, bro. He going to be mean this turn. Uh, Trump going to start a war. Yeah, you, you, you motherfucking baboons that want to fight for him and Tommy Hearns all out there. Tommy, you too old to be doing, carrying on with this dumb ass shit. You starting to look like Sugar Ray Leonard when he was airboxing with, with Ryan and shit. You motherfuckers are monkeys. But anyway, I'm telling you, bro, Trump gonna start a war and you lazy, sorry, you slimy motherfuckers, you better get ready for war when they get the draft in your bitch ass. Don't start crying then, you motherfuckers that fought for Trump and you believe in them so fuck. When it's time to war and they tell your bitch ass to suit up and you gotta leave your fucking kids and family and some of your kids gonna have to come with you to the battlefield, get your bitch ass up and fight for Trump, pussy. Because you motherfuckers won't fight for nothing else. You'll fight for that white boy, though. Bitch. I hate a black man. I just do. Let me get off that shit. We're going to war. And I want you motherfuckers to get ready. I want you motherfuckers to get ready. You think Trump is all this good for black and he just keeps it real? We're going to see how real that shit get when it's time for war, motherfucker. Back to boxing. Back to boxing. <laughs> T.O. Versus Ryan is a circus show. And I just want to talk to black fans. Though. I want to talk to some of you motherfuckers in my comments. Um, you motherfuckers crying too much, bro. Um, uh, it's feminine energy. Um, I just got to point it out. No, pimping. Uh, stop crying for Devin, bro. We've cried enough. We have cried enough. It is two cries that's going on and I'm sick of. We crying for Devin and we crying for Terrence Crawford. I don't want to see no more tears. I don't want to see now another. We've cried enough, bro. The ball was done wrong. That shit over with. I'm not finna dwell and make my whole channel comes continuously about this cheating, bro. Yes, I believe Ryan cheated. Yes, it was Osterine. Uh, all kind of shit, bro. Dope and dog food. Yes, bro. Let it go. You know nothing I got to tell you, motherfuckers? Cause I keep hearing. I, I seen this in my comment. Um, you know, Devin is the most hated. No, he not. Stop saying Devin Haney is the most hated. Stop saying Terrence Crawford is the most hated. Stop saying Earl Spence is the most hated. Black fighters are the most hated. Let's, let's just stop sectioning it off. Stop this game banging shit, bro. Uh, four months ago, yeah, Devin was the most hated fighter in boxing, without a doubt. Uh, over the last two or three years, Devin has been the most. Ever since that long, I think it's ever since he said he'll never lose to a white boy. 
Oh, it's been a target on Devin back. Because that's what that's how they do, bro. That's how the slave masters do back in the game. They always pick a slave to make example out of. And Devin, uh, before Devin, it was Wilder. Uh, they, boy, they buck, they, they buck broke. Let me tell you something. They whooped Wilder so bad. Uh, his next fight against uh, Robert Hellanius, he cried after that shit. Uh, I'm just going to say it. I was so much of a Wilder fan. I didn't want to admit it. That was a sign of buck breaking. Wilder was never no crier and shit. <laughs> Wilder wanted to catch a body. Uh, he wanted to kill. He, he Wilder said that. And I really mean, Wilder said, he put emphasis on that shit. Wilder said, I really want a body. I seen him, and you seen that interview, with, cause he said it a lot of times. But it was one time we said, "Bro, I really, I'm dead serious. This ain't no game. I really want to catch a body. I want to be. I can kill a man and get away with it." Why the meant that shit? But when it came to his sparring partner, white boy Hellenius, uh, why the cry the river? Cry, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 they say your man ain't supposed to cry. Why the cry? I just wanted to get back to his friend. That was a sign of buck breaking. Uh, Wilder's way, way in touch with his feminine side. But I said that in my last video. I don't want to get into the feminine, feminine shit. Because it is a whole lot of feminine energy going on with Wilder now. I don't like I said, it's way more than just wearing a purse for me. It's just a lot of feminine shit. But anyway, that was, that was a sign of buck breaking. But what I'm saying is, bro, uh, why they ain't hate it no more? Um, Devin, right now, we ain't even talking about him no more. You don't want to know the most hated black fighter right now? It's Earl Spence and Tank Davis. See, it used to be Terrence Crawford and Devin Haney. The tables always turn. Earl Spence is way more hated than... Let me tell you another thing. Because I said there's no black fighter that ever had a Mexican fan base, really. Earl Spence did. No, no, no. It was some of them Dallas Mexican that were fucking with him. Uh, Earl Spence did have a Mexican fan base. No, Earl Spence was one of the most liked fighters in boxing. And Terrence Crawford was shitted on. He can't sell. He can't do this. Once Earl lost, every the entire black community turned on Earl. People who don't even watch boxing, black people all over this country have continuously shitted on Earl. People who don't even watch boxing, but they watch their fight that night. Everybody made memes. Every it was all on Facebook. You motherfuckers don't even be talking about boxing on Facebook. That shit was on Facebook. All the little ratchet mother, all you you dusty motherfucker were talking about Earl. Damn, Earl look fucked up. You see all that sweat flying from his head and shit. Everybody shitting on Earl, but he was the most popular before that fight. Everybody used to love Earl, just like everybody loved Tank. They used to love Tank. <coughs> Over the last three months, Tank has become way more hated than Devin. We boy, we have never boycotted a Devin fight. The entire boxing community and all black fans have boycotted Tank Davis fighting Lamont Roach. When Lamont Roach is a better opponent than Isaac Cruz, a better opponent than Hector Garcia, a better opponent than Ryan Garcia, a better opponent than a lot of these dudes he fought. But we boycotted him fighting another black fighter. We boycotted that shit. Tank right, and right now we trying to prove that Tank don't sell and Tank didn't get a good as deal as, as Canelo and Al really trying to throw uh, Tank out and he really want Canelo. Well, what about all that value now? Oh, Tank ain't sell. Now Tank can't sell. Don't you see how the tables always turn? It's not just Devin, uh, Devin Haney fans. Tank is more hated than Devin right now. Just like Earl is more hated than Terrence Crawford. You Terrence Crawford, you bitter bud fans, bro. You motherfuckers are bitter as shit. Keisha Cole bitter. My, uh, what's that girl uh, that said you can't, can't raise up, man? Yeah, K, you motherfuckers K. Michelle bitter. <laughs> hey, when she made that can't raise up, man, that was an anthem for black women, boy. That, I'm going to tell you something, I don't, besides, uh, what's that, Mary J? No, I'm not going to cry. This is not the time, because you're not worth my tears. I was your lover and your secretary, working every day of the week. Was I was there when no one else was there. Helping you get on your feet, eleven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, K. Michelle can't raise a man. That is the anthem of all black women. That is the baby mama's. Uh, that shit. That shit. That shit bigger than uh, <laughs> Amazing Grace. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. K Michelle's K Razor, man. That shit is the amazing grace for the black baby mama. Anyway, what I'm saying is, bro, um, stop crying, bro. Stop crying. Uh, Devin Haney was fucked over, but he also made mistakes, bro. You was fucked over, but you made mistakes. I didn't never like you fighting Ryan. I thought that shit was, it was some bougie shit, bro. You stopped wanting to be great. In my opinion, you start just thinking, not only that, it's not just that you, it's how highly you thought of Ryan, though. Bill and Devin, you motherfuckers thought he was the end-all, be-all. You thought you was finally finna become a big Floyd Mayweather superstar because you felt like Ryan was this megastar. Hold on, but if Ryan is such a megastar, what the fuck is he finna fight this uh, dude that we never heard of? When you the so-called face of boxing, and people say Ryan is the big, they say he bigger than Tank. Who, why is he fighting a dude we don't even know? Why is he fighting a dude we don't? That is a straight up tune up. What do you need a tune up for when you supposedly coming off your greatest win? What is what is Ryan getting a pass for a tune up against a fighter we never heard of? But you this mega star. That shit was always capped. Ryan is only a star as long as he whooping on or, be, or fighting a black fighter that's known. Yeah, he a star then because Mexicans gonna get behind him, bro. That's how it go. It was the same way with Isaac Cruz, bro. Tank fought him in Cali in front of a bunch of Mexicans. They seen him throwing wild punches. The shit looked like it almost landed. They, they were so hoping and wishing on a star. I wonder where you are. And I wish on all the moment. Them motherfuckers was praying on that star. They, they was praying to Mary and Jesus at the same goddamn time that one of them wild ass punches landed on Tank and knocked them out. They become stars just off the thought of beating us. <laughs> just that. Basket fighters are the only fighters. The motherfuckers become stars on some uh, uh, woulda, coulda shit. On some almost doesn't count type shit. Just the thought of them almost beating a black fighter or looking as if they almost beat them. They can become a whole star. Sauce, bro. We know where the sauce belongs and we know where it remains, bro. You can't, a Mexican cannot become, a Mexican fighter cannot become a star without fighting a black fighter. That is a fact. There is no non black fighter that can ever become a star without fighting a black fighter. If Inouye had a never be cool boy, he would have never been offered 15 million by Turkey. Bro, this sauce is just as different. It will forever remain. And you can't argue this shit. So don't come in my fucking comments. Stop trying to debate me in my comments, bro. Just listen to the sauce. Let it marinate. It may not make sense now, but a little bit later, just like that drunken pre, every now and then that message, it'll, it'll, it'll linger and you'll, you'll catch it later. You may not catch it now. You'll catch that shit later. So, I'm just telling you motherfuckers, bro. Uh, you can't be a star if you ain't black without a black fighter, bro. I ain't seen one do it. Show me one. Show me one. What you want to say? Edgar Belanga became a star? I fought. That's Cal. No, Puerto Ricans fuck with him. He he was already a star amongst Puerto Ricans. Uh, Edgar Belanga is not no international star. You To be a real star, you must be in break. No. Edgar Belanga is a star in his country. He's a star. And shout out to the Puerto Ricans for supporting him. But he's not this. No. Edgar Belanga is not what Ryan was uh, for uh, so-called beating Devin. Ryan became bigger than life. After that Devin fight. You think that tank fight boosted up Ryan? Uh, Ryan was shaking hands with Donald Trump, our current president, after so-called beating Devin. Ryan was on a tour with Wayne. You motherfuckers. Why do we not acknowledge that? Why can't? I don't see no content creators pointing that out. How Ryan was on stage with YG, who was once fucking with... YG turned on Devin and got on the Ryan train. Ryan has so many black rappers and black famous actors fucking with him from being Devin. But if Devin had to be Ryan, the black celebrities would have never embraced him like they embraced Ryan. If Devin beat Ryan, it would have just been another win, bro. He wouldn't have been on tour with Wayne. This, bro, when y'all beat us or when y'all look good against us or when y'all fight us, y'all can become a star, bro. And black folks, of all people, once we embrace you and we, and we sprinkle a little sauce on you, then you the shit. I know it sounds a little hard, but that is a fact. Show me any other way it's ever been. Loma was making black fighters quit. That's why we called him the major. If he was just making other fighters quit, it wouldn't have been nothing. No, when he made Rigondeaux quit, when he made Nicholas Walters quit, 
That's when he became this invincible motherfucker. No, nah, bro. Everybody know uh, uh, Loma from the Devin fight. Even Boosie never knew who Loma was, bro. Nelly, none of them dudes did not know who Loma was. But when he fought Devin and had a had a had a competitive fight, everybody fought for uh, Loma. That Boosie said Devin lost every round. Like I said, our rappers will embrace you when you fight us, but they'll never embrace the the only black fighters that rappers embrace is Tank. But if you ain't black. All of our rappers will embrace you for fighting uh, one of our fighters. But we can't even get, get embraced by, by them same rappers. Uh, Wayne, Nelly, and them, none of them, them dudes, are never, they'll never embrace uh, Boots. No matter what he do, even if he beat Terrence Croft, uh, the rappers ain't going to embrace him. But boy, you let, you, boy you, let, um, you let a Tim Zoo or you let one of these Mexicans beat, Tim, uh, beat Terrence Crawford. That motherfucker going to be on Jimmy Kimmel tomorrow. Just like Andy Ruiz was, bro. It's desperation. That's how desperate they are to beat us in anything. Anyway, bro, that's just like that old uh, Latinos and blacks created hip. You can miss me with that fuck shit. Just miss me, bro. Stop trying to take credit for our sauce, bro. Yeah, it was by four Puerto Ricans uh, 10 years, five, 10 years later after we created it, bro. They came and became rappers and yeah, y'all was fucking with us and all that third. You didn't create it, bro. And Big Pun, I think he wanted, that motherfucker was the truth. But y'all didn't create it with us, bro. Just stop trying to take credit for our sauce, bro. Enjoy the sauce. Stop acting like you created the sauce, bro. No, nah, Fat Joe just be lying, bro. Just stop that shit. Fat Joe got his whole swag from a black man. Just stop. Hip hop is a black art form. The whole swag is black. Just stop, bro. Stop. You motherfuckers want our sauce so bad, but you don't want to join hands with us. No, nah, you just want to be cool, bro. Just stop. Anyway, uh, let me get out of hip hop is black and, and, and blacks and Puerto Ricans did not create that shit together. And blacks and Latinos did not create hip hop. Blacks created it, bro. Blacks created break dancing. We created the house parties and all that. Just stop, bro. Anyway, what I'm saying is, bro, um, Devin Haney made a terrible mistake. Um, you y'all really thought that sh like I said you was cheated that shit was wrong but I look at the whole picture you gave Ryan the fame he got you gave him the attention he got Ryan put on the monkey dance that motherfucker played crazy did all kind of shit got millions of views off you bro y'all got bougie after that Regis win and you only want to cross over and fight a Mexican or a Latino because you felt like that's what's gonna make you big y'all just like Tank bro. I want to make that very clear, and I want you to see the bigger picture. The bigger fucking picture. Stop focusing on Devin and his tank beef. Look at the bigger picture. Devin and Bill did the same thing that Leonard Ellaby does. Black versus the Mexican is the bigger fight. That's the money fight. Yeah, because it's two different fan bases. Y'all believe the same. Y'all complain that Tank would not fight Devin and Shakur because Leonard Ellaby said the money is in the same community. But y'all turn around and do the same shit Tank did. You chased that Ryan fight because you thought he was the money. When that shit is cap. If Ryan was the money, he wouldn't be fighting a dude we don't even know. If Ryan was really the money, he would have never fought a fucking Oscar Duarte. How the fuck you, this mega star, and you fighting Oscar Duarte? Bro, he only big when he fight a black fighter. You motherfuckers just dumb. Black people too stupid. And some of you motherfuckers just want to be dumb. Stupid motherfuckers. Right, let me quit, because I, I, you Devin motherfuckers really starting to piss me off, bro. Stop crying for him. Let him man the fuck up. Hey, bro, it's just like fucking with a hoe that ain't shit, and, and the bitch put some shit in your uh, uh, drink or something. You shouldn't have been fucking with her. It's a lot of shit, bro. Let's, let's stop crying as black men, bro. Stop crying for the dumb shit we do in life. I'm telling you, bro, it's, it's a lot of times I almost lost my life. I... More than I can count, but every time I almost lost my life, it was some dumb shit I did, though. It's some dumb shit. I, th I had to talk a motherfucker out of killing me, bro, just because I was in the wrong hood at the wrong time. Just just tripping, bro. I'm at a motherfucking crack spot, and I don't even know because I'm giving a motherfucker a ride. I had to talk this motherfucker out of killing both of us. Didn't have a strap on me. It's, it's 1 in the morning. I done left the strip club. I'm in the wrong hood. I'm not in my hometown. 
I'm I'm in a hood that I ain't never been to, about to get killed. This motherfucker on that juice, paranoid, thinking I'm there to rob him. I had to talk this motherfucker out of killing both of us. I'm telling you, bro, I, I would, because I was thinking about, damn, let me just put this bitch in reverse and speed out. But that motherfucker had a bad, that motherfucker had some shit, bro. He ain't had no, listen, he was going to light that bitch up, so it wasn't no way out of it. But I had to, t for 30 minutes, I had to talk that motherfucker out of killing both of us. And then convince him that I was not there to rob him. That motherfucker drew down on both of us. But anyway, I'm just that's just one situation. But I was dumb for giving it. I didn't know this motherfucker was a crackhead that I that I was dropping off. I didn't know he was taking me to a crack spot. Didn't know it, bro. But I'm just gonna leave that alone. But we just do dumb shit. Let's take accountability as men for the dumb choices we make in life. Devin was stupid for fighting Ryan. That shit was not no legacy fight. It wasn't no money fight. It wasn't what you thought it was, bro. And you got played. And you gave him the bigger percentage after trying to give Shakur 25%. You dolphin Shakur. That was a dolphin move. You treated him like that dolphin on uh, Don't Be a Menace with the cheeseburger. Yeah, with the cheeseburger. That's how you treated Shakur. But you turn around and give Ryan the bigger percentage. Dope and dog food, bro. Does that mean you deserve to get cheated? No, nah, bro. But you must be held accountable for your ignorant mistakes. You thought Ryan was the end all be all. Y'all steady chasing tank. Let's just keep it 100. Ryan is a tank opponent. Then you start saying we're going to fight Barrios. Why y'all steady trying to chase everybody that tank his fault? Create your own lane, bro. Create your own. I would love to see Blair, Blair the Flair versus Devin Haney in the Bay. That is a great fight for you, bro. That is a great. You take your ass to uh, uh, London or the UK trying to fight a Jack Catterall. You might win every round, but they ain't going to give it to you. And you ain't going to gain not one UK fan, bro. But like I say, Bill said Jack Catterall is a, it's a bigger fight than uh, Blair the Flair because Jack Catterall got a whole country. Get the fuck out of here. When the fuck have Jack Catterall been on pay-per-view? Jack Catterall ain't never had a fight that's bigger than Blair the Flair versus Adrian Broner. Let's just stop it, bro. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of critique. And, and like I said, bro, let's just stop like acting like Devin is the only black fighter that's hated. Tank, Tank right now is more hated than Devin. Like I said, bro, black fans have united. Dusty motherfuckers who don't even fuck with each other. That's the only time black men can, any, black enemies can, can put their differences to the side to just come together and hate on another black man. Yeah, we're going to stop hating on each other. We're going to stop shooting up each other mama house just to shoot up another black man mama house. That's monkey, but and that's what the that's what black men do, bro. The only time you see a truce among black men is because we both have decided that this black man we hate him more, so we gonna shoot up his mama house and stop shooting up each other mama house. That's all you Devin motherfuckers doing. So now, nah, bro, Tank is more hated right now. We boycotted this motherfucker fighting Lamont Rose, dope and dog food, but you ain't gonna boycott this fool Ryan fighting. Do nobody know him? Let us stop it, bro. Let, let's just stop it, bro. Let's stop this fake ass shit. Um, so yeah. Um, another thing we just don't want to admit. Um, cause I, I bro, in my Devin Haney rants, and I, I became too emotional. I, I can admit my my dad. I was emotional, bro. You get too caught up on a fighter, bro, and just you keep to thinking it's all about his struggle, bro. Black fighters, black men as a whole, we all have a struggle. It you can't just single out one, bro. Um, I know one thing, because I said in my ignorance, well, if it wasn't for the Osterine, Devin could have still walked him down like he did. I don't know, bro. I think I think Devin better than him. Without Osterine, Devin would have won that fight. Let me say that. Without that drugs in the system, I think Devin would have won that fight. But I cannot guarantee that you wouldn't have got caught with that same left hook. But But check this out. But but we discredited Tank. Oh, Tank had Ryan Drain. You can talk. That left hook was just as fast when he fought Tank this when he fought Devin. Tank just ducked the hook. Tank specifically trained. That's why I said he had with great training, Calvin Ford and Kenny. I can't take that from him. They trained for that. Devin did not train for that left hook. You can tell, bro. You don't have your fucking hands down against a fighter that has faster hands than you, bro. That left hook is faster than what Devin throws. That's all Ryan got, but that shit will knock your ass out. I don't like Ryan, but I can't take that left hook from him. I'm just telling you. Just like you can't take that left hook from Danny Garcia. You cannot, you can't take the right hand away from Wilder. That left hook of Ryan Garcia is lethal. That shit will make you do the stanky legs and the chicken noodle soup at the same goddamn time. Um, 
You didn't even train for that. There's no way you land a left hook within 30 seconds of the fight. Didn't prepare, bro. Um, didn't prepare. So now, um, <sighs> but but like I said, make no mistake. Uh, I, I'm not one of them that's going to say, well, Osterine or no Osterine, or the Osterine didn't matter. And no, that Osterine did matter. That motherfucker was strong as fuck. And I think them punches were way more vicious with that dope off in them. Make no mistake about it. That dope was a motherfucker. The dope was the determining fact. I think that is why you lost. I'm not just going to say, well, you just went, no, but it is other factors. You should have just never even gave this motherfucker the time of day. Devin Haney made Ryan go see a megastar. Devin, Devin Haney and Bill Haney made Ryan, that motherfucker, like I said, he was shaking hands with Trump the next week. Every rapper in the world know who Ryan Garcia is because of Devin Haney and Tank Day. The very two black fighters that, that we won against, they made Ryan Garcia who he is. They couldn't make each other great. They couldn't make each other superstars, but they made Ryan a fucking superstar. Devin and Tank. But we so caught up in Devin, fuck Devin or fuck Tank. Both of them made Ryan rich. So put that in your pipe and smoke it the next time you motherfuckers want to game bang with me. Both of them made them rich. So ain't neither one of them over the other. Both of them do monkey shit. So now nah, I can't even make a choice and pick one. Ain't one righteous over the other one. Both of them gave a Mexican over 30, 40 million dollars that he didn't fucking deserve. So that's why I have uh, started giving Tank more credit. One of the real reasons, because he even fought two black fighters back to back. You put money in black fighters' pocket, I, I got to shout that out. You motherfuckers made Ryan rich. Make some black fighters rich. So, like I said, but we boycott the Lamont Rose. You motherfuckers can boycott Tank Davis versus Lamont Rose, but you ain't going to boycott Ryan Garcia fighting a fighter we don't even know. You same mother, I'm going to show you how fake you motherfuckers are. Most black fans think T.O. is the best at, at 140. But you finna fight Ryan Garcia, who has never even won a world title. Everybody say T.O.'s all about legacy. He's a two-division world champ. That motherfucker finna fight Ryan because he broke and desperate. I never made over a million dollars. That shit was the most dope speech. It should have been memes about that shit. We don't never make memes about a non-black fighter. Every time black people put up memes, it's for a black man. That's why you motherfuckers are bitches to me. That motherfucker, that shit was the most dope thing, hustling shit. I never made a meme before. I never, you just don't, you're not a star, bro. But anyway, um, this shit gonna be a monkey show. Um, but like I said, T.O. can, uh, he can, he can. <laughs> and you know, you know what's crazy? We gave T.O. a pass for calling out Bud. T.O. just want to be great. He just, how we gonna knock him for wanting to be great? Yeah, T.O. trying to fight Bud is just like Bud trying to fight Canelo. It ain't but two-way divisions, 903. He trying to be great. He like challenges. See, it takes challenges for T.O. to really bring the best. No, the Sandor Martin wasn't a big enough challenge. That's why he didn't look good, 903. You motherfuckers are bitches. But he can turn around and fight a fucking... Ryan ain't nothing but a YouTuber with a left hook. His right hand really ain't shit. Ryan's right hand is not accurate. I, I've watched that. He can land it. His right hand will hurt you, though. His right hand will hurt. Ryan does have power in both hands. I won't take that from him. But his right hand is not accurate. That left hook is accurate. That left hook will clip your ass. I can't take it. I can never take the boy left hook from That shit will knock you the fuck out. And Devin went into that fight with his fucking hands down, stood right in front of him. That is the dumbest game plan. I've. One of the dumbest game plans in the history of boxing. That shit was dumber than what Tim Bradley did against Provodnikov. Just want a slug and shit and stand in front of him. Nah, bro, you stood right in front of that left hook. As if, and, and, and didn't prepare for it. Anyway, um, this, this Ryan T.O. is the monkey show of our month. But you know what? You know, I, I'm glad Ryan not fighting a black fight. And I'm glad T.O. not fighting. Y'all, y'all get, do y'all Latino shit. Make that shit some big shit. And I want to see the pay-per-view numbers on this shit. Uh, because T.O. has never been on pay-per-view. But guess what? You ain't gonna hear no reporters, even black fans. Ain't nobody gonna say, ah, oh, man, it ain't gonna sell nothing. 
I bet it don't outsell Tank versus Ryan. I bet like how they did with Bud and Spence, it ain't gonna outsell Tank versus Ryan. There will be no talk about numbers. We only talk about numbers when a black fighter is involved. Tio versus Ryan, I want you to remember this shit, stamp it, put in your motherfucking thoughts. There will be no talk about numbers. It won't be no expectations. And T.O. finna get a huge payday. Even though he's never been on pay-per-view. And we don't even know what he's capable of selling. But he gonna get a big bag. So. It just is what it is, bro. But with this tank and Devin shit. You motherfuckers you starting to look. You motherfuckers starting to look like homosexuals, bro. Y'all starting to look real weird around here with this tank and Devin shit. It look gay to me. It look. You motherfuckers pulling dicks. And, and, and measuring dicks and shit. You motherfuckers are weird out here. It's starting to get weird, bro. This shit is way more weird than that Earl Spencer Turner's crop. Y'all, I think a lot of you motherfuckers want to know who dick bigger out of Tank and Devin. I, th I, think, I think it's gotten that sick with you stupid motherfucker. Y'all want to know who dick bigger. I, I'm really starting to... <laughs> Yeah, I damn near, I'm really starting to think you motherfuckers really want them motherfuckers to put their dick side by side. <laughs> darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Anyway, I, I done cooked enough, bro. It's just a monkey show. We just, we'd rather fight each other. T on and Kyle, you motherfuckers. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say this. I'm off this motherfucker. I came on this YouTube and I was such a fan of the Russell brothers. I was a huge Gary and Torn Russell fan. I had Gary and Torn Russell beating everybody at 140. But Pueyo exposed a lot of shit. Exposed a lot of shit that I didn't see. Uh, Gary and Torn Russell is too reckless, has no defense, and he's a, he's a counterpunch waiting to happen. And he's not as durable uh, uh, when it comes to taking a punch as I thought. Nah, bro, you got hurt by, uh, what's that boy, boy telling me? Stop it. You couldn't cut the ring off against a Pueyo. You're not good as I thought. But um, I want to say this, bro. Um, it's not just that you're not good as I thought. I thought Gary Antoine Russell was ahead of his time mentally. I thought he was a smart, really on some black shit. And, and y'all like had a great father. Rest in peace to your father. He was a stand-up black man and all that. Thought. I thought he really, all that shit wore off on y'all. And yeah, he was on some black shit. Nah, bro. Like I said, Gary Antoine Russell has nothing good to say about Devin, nothing good to say about Tank, but T.O. called you a monkey. And you said, I don't want to diss him. I want to have a private conversation. You should have had a private conversation with Devin and Tank, pussy. And that's why I'm no longer Gary Antoine Russell. So it can happen. It can happen. Just because I'm a fan of you at one point, you can you can turn me away as a fan. I am no longer a Gary Antoine Russell fan. I wish all the bro Russell brothers the best. But you ain't shit to me. And I don't respect you. I have no respect for you. You the same one when, when Ryan got caught with Osterine. Well, the Osterine don't matter. Devin got exposed and this and that. No, nah, bro. I think Devin was stupid for even taking the fight. I think I think him and Bill uh, showed their lack of self-worth uh, by putting themselves in a position to think Ryan was going to make you this star and you needed Ryan. You y'all, you say what you want to say. Devin and Bill felt like they needed Ryan and that was going to take them to the next level as a star when it never was going. It don't matter how good you beat them or how spectacular you look, bro. Ryan does not make black fighters stars, dummy. Black fighters make Ryan stars. This is 903 Boston. I'm your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.